Before we replace the TXV, we need to know that we can make our connections back here. So this is a piston chamber right here. And so you can actually just disconnect right here and disconnect right here. And we can put our new thermostatic expansion valve in. Now the issue is we want to make sure that this TXV has the proper size ratings for the outdoor unit. So in this case, this is a rated from 18,000 to 36,000 BTUs and the outdoor unit is actually a 30,000 BTU unit. So this TXV is within the range in order to hold the uh, superheat steady across this coil, which means that you're going to be holding the amount of saturated refrigerant across this coil steady, and that's the secret to this whole thing occurring. And so it's gonna allow the correct amount in, and you also wanna make sure that this is rated for the refrigerant that is in this system. So in this case, this TXV is stamped with R410A. And if the TXV isn't stamped with the refrigerant or the size, you can look up the model number and sometimes there's a scan code to just be able to look it up online in order to check out its ratings. There's different style TXVs and so their connections may differ. So this is made for a different style of a chamber right here. And this one is just braze connections right here and over on the other side. And then this one is a chat lift uh, chamber right here. And then it's braze on the other side or sweat. So you wanna pick out the right TXV for the right job.